channel it's your girl diamond the slayer and i'm back with another episode of unsigned critic what's good what's up wild wine if this is your first time here on my channel channel what's good what's up wine? welcome back if this is your first time here i'm your girl diamond the slayer this is a fun 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 channel here on youtube we do a lot of things we do makeup videos i'm an entrepreneur i have my own business so we do entrepreneur videos makeup videos hair videos i am a beginner learning and i want all my time to learn how to do all these things here with your girl diamond but this right here is my number one favorite 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 thing to do here on my channel and it's called a side credit where we go over all of the hottest Hip hop, R and B, and dance hall, reggae music. Okay, cause your girl Diamond the Slayer is a whole Jamaican out here. Okay, and if you click the link, you already know who we talking about. Who are the queens we are talking about today on Unsigned Critic? Okay, yes. So I know you guys. Ever since you guys heard Cardi B make her little announcement. Letting us know that she had a little surprise for her little Barbie gang, 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 or whatever like that. Everybody was mad hype because we kind of already knew, figured that, you know, Cardi was going to be dropping new music. You know, she's pregnant and everything. So everybody was kind of very, very excited to have new music from Cardi because I think the last song we got from Cardi was what, WAP with Megan Thee Stallion. Like, you know what I'm saying? So everybody was really excited and then when she dropped the cover art and let us know that she was coming out with a song with Normani, everybody was like really excited. We already knew what type of vibe of song. Well, I, Diamond the Slayer, I already knew what type of song it was going to be because you already know Normani is definitely an upcoming R&B pop princess on the rise. You know, we already know what kind of vibe. You know, Normani is coming with. So, if you guys, you know, are not too familiar with Normani or really know anything about the black, beautiful, melanin queen Normani, like, she's super, super dope. She could sing her ass off and she could dance her fucking ass off. And if you know, right now in 2021, the ladies, they cannot dance. Like, they cannot move. Like, they have no rhythm. You know what I'm saying? Like... The new people that's coming out, choreography and all these things, like, they really do not have it. So, when we have somebody like Normani, we have to have to give her her praises for all that she do. Talking about stepping in Beyonce's shoes. Like, talk about trying to take over. Like, we need somebody to come with the heat. And Normani is definitely that girl who has potential to take it there, Okay. So if you guys don't know about Normani, Normani was out. She was on, she started off on, I guess the first time we seen Normani was like on an X Factor. Um, I don't know if she won or anything like that. I don't think she did. But after the X Factor, they formed a group. And she was in the group Fifth Harmony. I think it was like five of them in the group or whatever. And you know, the group Fifth Harmony was a very popular like pop group coming up or whatever. Of course, they didn't last too long. And around 2017, Normani, she hit the scenes solo, okay? I had no idea Normani was going solo, but she was definitely somebody to watch out for in the whole group on um, Fifth Harmony, okay? She was definitely, definitely, like, somebody you had your eyes on. Like, that girl right there is something special, something you need to watch out for, period, okay? Yeah, so in 2017, Normani went solo. You know, she had her first single, Love Lies, featuring Khaled, okay? And that single did really, really good for Normani, Normani and, like, the pop world, R&B world. It definitely put her stamp of where she wanted to be in this, you know, music industry and everything like that. Everybody definitely, definitely had their eyes on Normani, okay? And then when she came out with Motivation, that's when it was just like wow she really showed us all that she can be her skills her dancing just her overall sex appeal like no money is sexy as fuck okay and you know all us black girls you know we're gonna look up to somebody like normani like she's natural she's beautiful and she's very 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 talented okay she's 
So that's just a little backstory on Normani, just in case y'all didn't really know much about her. But you know, Cardi B definitely let us know. Whoever didn't know about her, you definitely know about her because of this single with Cardi B. Now, was I scared to hear a song with, you know, the R&B and Cardi B? No, because if you guys listen to Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy, she had a lot of records on there, kind of like this one, featuring Kalani and a whole bunch of, you know, other people that was on Invasion of Privacy. And, you know, Invasion of Privacy did very, very, very well. Like, I think that thing went a couple times platinum for Cardi B. So we already knew that Cardi B, she been on the song with Bruno Mars, Maroon 5. Like she been doing records with a lot of people, pop, R&B, rap, like you name it, Cardi B flows. Seems to fit per okay on any track. You know what I'm saying? Along, I don't, you know, I, I don't think Cardi really write her stuff, but whoever's helping her write her rhymes and you know, she works very hard in the studio to deliver the records i'm gonna give cardi her credit for that because she's definitely be delivering on her features like we cannot even act like she don't okay so her and um, yes time so if you guys made it this far into the video please hit that subscribe button for your girl diamond the slayer to catch some more of my videos hit the thumbs up button hit the thumbs up button tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend about diamond the Slayer, so they can come through on the channel, leave their little, you know, comments or whatever. Let me know your feedback on this record. Did you guys love this record with Cardi B and Normani or whatever like that? But a little bit more about the video, because the video was really, really creative. I really liked the video. My favorite part of the video was just, of course, the choreography in the video was amazing. Normani's looks in the video was amazing. That see-through white outfit, like, that was giving... That black outfit she had in the beginning with the cuts in it and the red background was definitely giving sexy, sexy vibes. Um, Cardi B looks very beautiful in the um, video. I believe Cardi was probably pregnant filming this. And I'm guessing because she kind of looked like she was kind of hot, tr trying to hide her stomach while, you know, they was filming the scene with her and no mind the girl on girl action like, you know, I'm not really into that whole, you know, lesbian and shit or whatever like that. But I get it what the girls is trying to give. But I really felt like they was just trying to do something sexy together while covering Cardi B's stomach. Because maybe she didn't know when the video was going to come out. And probably didn't just want to look pregnant in this video being all sexy and all of this. And you're pregnant. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. They look amazing. Cardi B killed. I like her verse a lot. Like, her verse was giving very much Cardi B. Like, that's why I said whoever helps her or whatever happens with her records, they know how to cater to their artists. Like, they know she know who her who her fans are and what they expect from her. And Cardi B definitely delivers that on her records. And with this, you know, coming from WAP to this is definitely on the same level, on the same page. You feel me, you feel me? So yes, y'all, I'm giving y'all a look of nat little natural vibes today, little two ponytails, you know what I'm saying? You know, we gonna keep it cute today on Unsigned Critic or whatever like that, okay? Yes, Cardi definitely, definitely brings on her features. So her doing a song with Normani, I was super excited about it. I, you know, I definitely want to hear it. So now let's get into the song overall, all overall. The song is called Wild Side. Like once I heard the name of the song, I was really excited. I knew it was gonna be given straight sexy. Like I already knew it was gonna be given sexy once I seen the out the, the cover art and it's Normani and Cardi. We know Cardi is like the rapper spinning your mouth, all this type of nasty shit that Cardi likes to spit. And you know, Normani is a sexy, you know, classy, keep it cute type of chick. You know what I'm saying? So she gonna say it all, say it all, everything that Cardi say, but in a nicer way. You know what I'm saying? So it was really nice. Like, it was really, really giving what we need. Definitely R&B vibe. She definitely helped bring R&B back, which we need more women like Normani, y'all know Tiana Taylor, she done let us know that she quitting and she about to just direct movies and direct videos and stuff like that. 
So, you know, we need R&B queens like Normani. Like, she definitely sampled the, the one in a million um, Aaliyah song. From I heard the song, as soon as it came on, so all I heard was a little doo-doo, the little beat shit, doo-doo, doo-doo. I'm like, what song is this? What song is this? And of course, by the end of the record, boom, Aaliyah, one in a million. Y'all know, everybody knows Normani gives us black girls Aaliyah vibes, okay? And she definitely gave us the whole Aaliyah vibe in this video. Normani performance skills is like really unmatched. Like I said early in this video, it's definitely unmatched. It's like, you can't practice to dance like Armani and like move like Armani. Like you cannot practice that. Like the skills is on a hundred, okay? Period. Period. <laughs> and so that is the end of this episode of Unsigned Critic with your girl Diamond the Slayer. Please leave in the comments your feedback. Did you love this song from Cardi B? Did you guys want a record from Cardi B by herself, no feature? Like, did you want a record from Normani by herself, no feature? Did you love the girl on girl collab? Like, I love how the ladies are helping out the ladies. You know what I'm saying? They working together. Not only are they just rushing to work together, but they're coming out with quality work, quality music. I'm actually really excited about this new record. I have something new to listen to in my playlist. You know what I'm saying? I've been listening to a lot of reggae music lately, a lot of rap. So hearing Armani come out with this, you know, I got a little R&B flavor back in my little, you know, my little listening, my little listening ting or whatever like that. So I'm excited about that. And y'all know here on Unsigned Critic, we let our artists know what we feel about the music so we can let them know should they keep, you know, giving us this or should they switch it up if we don't like it. It's just our opinions. We do not gossip on top of the team. We don't gossip on Unsigned Critic. It's all about just our own critique of what our artists are working so hard and doing. And you guys know I don't only go over top, top artists. I go over upcoming artists as well yes so if you know anybody that's hot in your streets it could be your cousin anybody hit me up let me know that they song is on go let me listen to it i'd rather go over albums and videos on here on star Craig. so if the person just have a look at one or two songs like if they have one or two songs and they don't got no video then i probably don't want to review it to be honest i want to review videos albums you know, maybe stage shows and stuff like that, okay? So, like I said, leave in the comments and let your girl know if you got anybody we could put on the show. You know what I'm saying? Period. Shout out to Cardi B. Shout out to Normani. Y'all know I'll be on my Nikki shit or whatever like that. Because y'all know. But this is about Cardi today. Barty gang. Shout out to y'all. You know, Barty, she out here doing her thing. Like, we could never, never hate on that. And, you know, I... I rock a Cardi over a couple of these other females out here doing a little rapping ting, ting, ting. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna get support where support is due. Period. Period. Okay, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend about your girl Diamond the Slayer. And when I put on my videos, watch the videos. Period. Later, guys.